Switzerland is now considering a new law that would give every adult in the country a guaranteed $2,800 a month without having to work. The United States has a program like that, too. It's called Congress. And very interesting. They, they don't have to come into work. They get paid. Go on vacation. Enjoy the beautiful fall. And a lot of Americans, sadly, if you uh, look at Tom Coburn's report, it is called uh, disability. Uh, some people that don't need it cashing in on it. Mm. Hey, let's talk about Princeton, New Jersey. When it comes to grassroots kids' sports, they have taken action that's somewhat surprising, forward-leaning, or maybe is, makes you feel as though we're being too overprotective with our kids when it comes to sports. For 6th to 12th graders, something's going to be different if you play field hockey, soccer, or lacrosse. Right, they're actually making mandatory for the younger set of kids, right? They're making Sixth mandatory the um, helmets, okay? So they're, they're going to tell kids, and here's an example of it, um, padded on the sides with the gates in the front. It's um, soft. Apparently to reduce injury, some physicians, though, think that the headgear is more for reducing abrasions and lacerations, not necessarily protecting against concussions. Although girls' soccer in high school, I think, is the second highest rate of concussions nationally, right? It's that high. Would, that would sound about right. But think about too head-to-head -head collisions in field hockey. When you're leaning down, looking, there's there's mm -hmm. logic tells you there's some crashes there. Sure, well, I saw someone's teeth fall. I mean, I was a ball girl for field hockey in um, college. Our team worked for the field hockey girls, and I saw someone's teeth come right out. Just like that. My daughter Mary in high school. You know, boys lacrosse. They have the great big helmet. They you know they look like something uh, from Star Wars. The great big Darth yeah. Vader mask. Whereas the girls in high school just have the little eye. You know. The little cage for their uh, for their eyes, she wound up getting her nose broken. So, uh, you know, uh, as long as everybody's wearing the helmet, that would would be one thing. But like Brian said, uh, from sixth grade up, the parents can opt out. If you don't want your kid running down the field with that, uh, the parents say, "I don't want that." So amazingly, uh, or or not surprisingly. Uh, most parents are saying, I don't want my kid wearing that helmet on the field. Which well, there's, is a odd, right? there's a psychological thing to it, too. If you're wearing a helmet, you feel you're Superman, and mm -hmm. maybe you're going to take more chances, all more risks. Point. Here's the thing if you look at Wayne Rooney, one of the best players in all the world in soccer, he might be single handedly trying to make this whole thing uh, protective uh, headwear cool. He, over the weekend, he got this from uh, a New York company. And because he had a head injury, so he wears it around his head to absorb some of the blows. Number one, when the ball hits you, when it's a line drive, you can actually, you know, you could get a concussion. Yeah. It knocks your equilibrium a little bit. You can take a long punt. So he's wearing it to stay on the field. I also know a company that's using uh, Kevlar around your head to absorb some of the some of the blows. Uh, to that point, there are also companies that are tracking the level of concussion. So you can have a baseline study done, and then they put actually skin skin to skin contact with strips that can monitor um, the level of concussion and track sure. them over time. But just imagine if every kid on the field is not wearing a helmet except your kid. And you know kids, they're probably going to poke fun at that one kid right. wearing the helmet. The parents, all the best intentions in the world. So anyway, it, it's odd that they would have this opt-in, opt-out thing. What do you think? Do you think it is appropriate for uh, kids to now have to wear helmets in soccer? Or should we just go Field ahead? Field hockey. Field hockey, yeah. lacrosse. And lacrosse as well. Or, you know, is this just another step leading toward the eventual thing where we just bubble wrap the kids when we send them off to Or school? should we just let kids play video games and just let them not interact Fantastic at all? Fantastic idea. Yeah. Or just watch TV. Like right now, you're watching TV. Now you're watching Heather Nauert because she's got the headlines. All right. Good morning to you.